grounded in 17 We are going global with a travel and lifestyle show that you can catch tomorrow morning at CHCH at 11.30. Host Alyssa Landell joins us now with more. How awesome is this, a show where you get to travel? I know, <laughs> right? And right now, and in right 2022. Now. Yes. My gosh, and to travel to my hometown, too, is like a lot of fun. Okay, which is Toronto. Yes. And, and tell me about what you learned, little nuggets that you picked up shooting this episode because I mean it's such a city of vast opportunity. It really is and I mean I suppose I got a more microscopic look at all the things I already knew about Toronto. I knew it was diverse. I didn't know how diverse, just how many languages were spoken. The cuisine, the international cuisine is one thing that really surprised me. And can you tell, I've been, I mean, I did no. nothing but eat, well, thank you, thank you, good answer. Uh, I did nothing but eat and drink and meet people and, and really just get to enjoy all these little hidden gems. Right, because you can walk down a block in yeah. Toronto and see so many restaurants and bars yeah. and stores and people from all around the world. Yes, and I think the thing that, and I don't know that we actually answered this or came up with the word or the concept, but there is a certain something about this part of the world that nobody can really put their finger on. It's a je ne sais quoi, but that's, it's, it's a feeling, it's a vibe, I guess you could say, as mm -hmm. the kids would say. <laughs> and, and I love that there's, uh, there's uh, one of the uh, bartenders that you speak with yes. told you to always sit at a bar oh. in, in whatever city you go because yes. you're going to get little details about that city from that person. Absolutely. Such great advice. I mean, this guy needs to write a, a travel book. Uh, this was at Barber & Co., which was another little hidden gem. It's a barber shop, and you walk in the back, and there's a restaurant or a bar, and it's one of the, it's the second smallest in Canada. So as humans, we're like, ooh, I, you mean I can't get in? I want to get in. <laughs> and uh, this guy had great advice. Sit at, the, sit at the bar and ask the bartender. You are going to find out so much more about that real town or city mm -hmm. than you would otherwise. And who knows who else you would be sitting with at the bar, right? Exactly. So that's, yeah. Well, in this place, you're limited to 18, but yes, uh, yes in most places, <laughs> it's true. Just look around, and that's what I'm getting to, to learn through this experience, uh, is that you, know, you just need to open your eyes and ears and taste buds and, uh, and experience the joy that is, it's like the world in Toronto. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, is, is the series, is it all about um, going to different places around the world, or is it about finding different places of the world in certain places? Ah, I guess it's both, actually. We have been a few different places. We've been to Istanbul, you know, we have been to Thailand, we have been all over, in Napa. Uh, so, yeah, it's about seeing what these places have to offer that other people don't tell you, you know. The place is off the beaten path, and we found them here in Toronto as well by going further afield, because, you know, we just keep moving our way out. Yes, like I keep yes. moving my way west. I'm almost <laughs> in Hamilton now. Uh, I'm in Aldershot. Welcome. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I love it. Uh, but yeah, it, the, the GTA is so vast and you know, we went up to Blue Mountain, uh, the Blue Mountain area and, and experienced so much that they had to offer too that I didn't know and I've been going up there since I was a kid. These mm -hmm. are places uh, that aren't new to me, but it's, it's the idea of going a little deeper. Okay, going a little deeper. And yeah. where do you get your sources from? Like, how do you know when you start shooting where you're going to go, where you're going to end up? We just have a team of intrepid, you know, intrepid uh, producers and, and uh, fact finders and uh, investigators, I'll say. Our, our producers are pretty amazing because they, again, they found places that I didn't know existed. <laughs> and, you know, I like to think of myself as a worldly person. I've traveled a lot for my job as mm -hmm. a TV host. And, uh, yeah, they, they find them. They ask. They probably sit at the bar, Annette. That's probably That's what probably they do. That's probably what they do. That's probably <laughs> what they do. <laughs> and, and what do you hope? we got about yeah. 45 seconds left. But what do you hope viewers take away from this show? I want them to take away the feeling of adventure, the spirit of adventure. I want them to want to go and travel the world, if only through our show. Uh, but I do want this to light a fire in people. I think we need that right now, mm -hmm. especially post-pandemic. You yeah. know, uh, a lot of uh, the, inter the uh, tourism dollars are not international anymore, they're local. So travel your own city if, if, if that's all you can afford and, okay. and that you will find those hidden gems. Okay. Sit at the bar. All right, we'll find out more on Going Global tomorrow at 1130 here at CHCH. Alyssa, thank you very much for coming in. Thanks so much Happy for having Happy travels. Me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.